What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about cardigans. So, if you're wondering how to wear a cardigan, you're in the right place. From the chunky, heavy, shawl neck variety to the lighter weight v-neck options, I think you're going to enjoy these cardigan outfit ideas. Now, some guys avoid cardigans altogether because they don't want to look like Mr. Rogers, which is weird because he was a super cool guy and I kind of liked his style, but I get it. A cardigan can make it kind of easy to stray into that hashtag grandpa style territory, which isn't a great look for everybody. But here's the thing, the cardigan is actually a pretty timeless garment and it can be as masculine or as feminine as you need it to be. It's pretty versatile. So if you've been thinking about trying on a cardigan but haven't pulled the trigger yet, I hope this video convinces you to try it out. Cardigans can be worn as outer layers or middle layers. They can be dressed up or dressed down, so they're great for a variety of situations. There are many different types of cardigans, so let's look at the, the main types of cardigans. First of all, you have your V-neck cardigans. This is a V-neck cardigan, also called a front button cardigan. These are usually lighter weight. Uh, then you have these shawl collar cardigans, which are typically heavier weight, although they don't have to be. You have cable knit cardigans, which are pretty much always a heavier, more casual cardigan. Belted cardigans, uh, which are a little tougher to pull off. You don't see them as much. Uh, long line cardigans, which are literally just longer versions of the front button cardigan. Sometimes they don't even have buttons. They're almost like a robe. And then you have the double breasted cardigan, which is pretty rare. You don't see that one too much. But regardless of what type of cardigan that you have, it's really the weight and the thickness that determines how you wear it. So in general, cardigans can be divided into two categories. You have your lightweight cardigans and then your heavyweight or your chunky cardigans. Lighter weight or fine cardigans can be dressed up very easily. They can be worn with the suit and tie, whereas heavier, chunkier cardigans are typically more casual. So let's run through some outfit ideas looking at both lightweight and heavier weight cardigans. Starting with lightweight, these are usually made from fine materials like extra fine merino wool or Pima cotton. And these are usually your standard front button V-neck cardigans. Sometimes, like in this case, they're made from cashmere. Uh, but these are what most people picture when they picture a cardigan. Its weight and structure makes it a little more elegant and dressy than like a chunky shawl neck cardigan. So it's great for business casual or even formal settings. Of course, it doesn't mean you can't wear it casually. So for example, our first outfit, you can wear a cardigan, a lightweight cardigan over a t-shirt. This is a comfy outfit, it's casual. It's great for those days when a t-shirt isn't quite warm enough. And in this example, a cardigan kind of acts like a very lightweight jacket, almost like a windbreaker. You can button it up or you can wear it open for a more flowy kind of drapey look. Similarly, you can wear a lightweight cardigan over a long sleeve Henley shirt. And this is a little bit more of a rugged look, but it's still very casual. I think the buttons on the placket of the Henley add a little more visual interest. And this is actually, in my opinion, a kind of a very masculine look. It reminds me of something like Ryan Gosling would wear. Dressing things up just a little bit, you can wear this kind of cardigan over an Oxford shirt with jeans. You know, the Oxford cotton button down is like the Swiss Army knife of shirts. Uh, it's very versatile and it looks great under a lightweight cardigan. Uh, with jeans. You can wear it untucked or tucked in. I think if you're wearing a cardigan, it makes sense to tuck your shirt in. And then with this outfit, you could wear loafers, boots, even sneakers. It's a very kind of middle of the road, smart, casual outfit. Number four, you can wear a lightweight cardigan under a more casual jacket. So we'll talk in a minute about how to dress this type of cardigan up, but because it's so thin and lightweight, you can wear it as a middle layer even under a casual jacket like a field jacket. And I think that the rugged casual nature of a field jacket looks really good contrasted against the kind of more elegant, you know, lightweight cardigan. Okay, moving to the more dressy side of the spectrum, you can wear your cardigan over a dress shirt. Pair this with cotton or wool dress pants and you've got yourself a classic business casual look that's really great for colder months and transition months like early spring or fall. And this is just a nice spin on the sweater over a button up shirt combo that you see a lot. You know, most guys will gravitate toward like a V-neck sweater over their button up shirt. But if you wear a cardigan, it's just gonna set you apart a little bit. It's just something a little different. Now, this same outfit works on days where you might have a big meeting. All you have to do is throw on a casual jacket like a sport coat or blazer. And if you have a neutral color cardigan like gray, it's gonna work with almost any combination of coat, shirt, and pants. You know, a navy blazer, for example, 
example, would look great with this outfit. And finally, to dress things up even more, you can wear a lightweight cardigan with a full suit and tie. This is kind of like wearing a three-piece suit, but instead of the waist coast, you're wearing that lightweight cardigan. This is a very dapper look. It'll definitely set you apart from the pack. And the great thing is, when you get to work, if you don't wanna wear your jacket all day, you can take it off and you still have a really put together full outfit. It doesn't look like something's missing. Like sometimes when you take off your jacket, but you're still wearing a tie, it looks a little funny. But if you're wearing that cardigan, it just kind of completes the outfit in the same way that a waistcoat would. Okay, so we've covered lightweight cardigans. Let's look at the heavier weight, the chunky shawl neck cardigans. This is definitely the other most popular type of cardigan for guys typically much heavier, made out of either cotton or more often wool. Sometimes it has detailing like cable knit, um, but not always. And it's got the shawl neck design and the extra heft just makes it a more casual garment. So the first outfit, just like the lightweight cardigan, you can wear this heavier cardigan over a t-shirt. It works over a crew neck or a v-neck. It's totally up to your personal preference. Now, when in doubt, make sure the cardigan is darker in color than your shirt. So it's pretty much always gonna look good if you were wearing a darker cardigan and a lighter colored shirt. I'm not saying you can't do it the other way around, but typically if you follow this rule, it's gonna work out. So for example, a dark gray cardigan over a light gray shirt is gonna look good. Number two, over a Henley shirt. Again, just like with the lightweight cardigan, a heavy shawl neck cardigan looks really good over a Henley. And I think since they're both kind of rugged, masculine, you know, kind of like workwear um, type garments, they look really good together. And of course, the best pairing is with jeans and boots. This is a great look. If it's good enough for Daniel Craig, it's definitely good enough for us. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to look like Daniel Craig, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't give it a shot. Number three, wear your Shawn Knight cardigan over a casual button-up shirt. So in this case, we're leaving the button-up shirt untucked. It's going to be a more casual shirt, maybe denim or flannel, maybe some sort of kind of heavier work shirt. And this, again, is just a really casual, masculine, rugged look and feel. Works great with jeans or chinos and boots. Number four, use your heavy cardigan as a jacket. So this type of cardigan has enough weight to it that it can be used as outerwear uh, versus just using it as a middle layer. Even with a more dressy look, this can work. Now, this isn't the easiest one to pull off, but for example, Sabir from Men's Style Pro pulls this look off really well. He basically wears a chunky shawl neck cardigan as outerwear as a jacket over a full suited look and i think the contrast the kind of more casual nature of the chunky cardigan with the dressed up suit and tie look is really cool again this combo is going to take a little bit of confidence to pull off a little bit of finesse but you know if you want to try something different and you're pretty comfortable with your own personal style why not give it a shot all right so we've talked about how to wear cardigans what about where to buy a cardigan you have a lot of choices. The one I'm wearing is the cashmere cardigan from Everlane. I really like it because it's kind of a mix between your lighter weight and your heavier weight cardigan. It's a V-neck front button design, but it's made from a slightly thicker cashmere. So you could wear it under a jacket. You could wear it over a button up shirt or over a t-shirt. So very versatile fits well, available in extra small sizes, which is nice. Some other great places to buy cardigans. If you're looking at a lightweight V-neck cardigan, I recommend if you're just trying it out, just getting your feet wet, and you're not sure if you're gonna like it, don't spend too much money right up front. You know, go with something from like ASOS, for example, maybe H&M, just see if you like it before investing. If you're looking for a lot of value, check out Uniqlo. They have really nice cardigans for not that much money. And then if you really wanna splurge, go with something like Brooks Brothers or Ralph Lauren. If you're looking for a chunky shawl neck cardigan, uh, again, if it's your first one, go with something affordable like H&M. I had a, a shawl neck cardigan from H&M that I wore for years. You know, it's gonna fall apart eventually. It's not gonna be the highest quality, but at least you'll figure out if you like wearing that type of uh, sweater. If you're looking for a bit more value, look at J. Crew Factory. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be as pricey as J. Crew, and the stuff is pretty good for the price. Definitely a step up from H&M or ASOS. And then if you wanna spend a bit more money, check out uh, Bonobos. They have some nice Shawn Knight cardigans. Gonna be a little pricier, but uh, a noticeable step up in quality from like a J. Crew factory. Make sure to focus on fit. So make sure your cardigan fits well in the chest. Make sure the sleeves aren't too long. Um, if sleeve length is an issue for you, check out like Peter Manning NYC. They have a lightweight cardigan now. 
It's gonna have shorter sleeves. Uh, you can also get your sweaters tailored and get those sleeves shortened. So I hope this video gave you some ideas for how to wear a cardigan. If you've been thinking about trying one on, you know, why not just give it a shot? Don't spend a ton of money. And then if you like it, you can invest in something nicer down the road. I will link to some of my favorite cardigans down below in the description. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.